hope you guys are doing really well. Today's video, I'm gonna share some back to school DIYs. I just couldn't let DIY school supply season finish. I just, I, I had my videos filmed and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do another one. So today's video is all about DIY notebooks and I've made a variety of different notebooks that you guys can make and they're very easy to make and budget friendly. So if you'd like to see how I made them, let's jump right in. So this first DIY is a notebook with a little pocket that you can use to put pens, pencils, rulers and just a few stationary items if you don't want to carry a big pencil case. You'll need a notebook that is just a little bit longer than your pens and pencils and you'll also need some fabric. Mine was a 5 by 25 inches but this will depend on the size of your notebook and how big you want it to be. The width needs to be twice as big as you want the pocket to be and the length needs to be twice your notebook and then an extra 2 to 3 inches. For the first piece of fabric, I'm just going to call this piece A so we don't get confused. You're going to want to fold the edges in until they meet at the back and then glue them down to give you a nice clean edge on either side. And now for piece B, you're going to want to fold it in the middle lengthways and flatten that down and you can use a little bit of glue very gently along the sides to keep it in place. This is going to create the pocket. Lay piece A on top of piece B as I'm doing here. Make sure the wrong side with the crease is facing upwards. Then you can take your hot glue and glue the sides of piece B, fold them over onto piece A and you will have created the pocket. So when you flip the whole thing around, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Then lay it on your notebook and position it where you would like it to be. Fold the bottom over and add a small amount of glue and then bring that top piece over and add it to the glue. You should have some extra at the end that you can roll over to create a nice clean seam. Glue that down in place and then you're finished. And now your notebook is ready to use and the great thing is that you can take this little sleeve off if you don't want to use it and this definitely does cut down on the amount of things you have to bring in your bag. Next up I wanted to show you how I made this tropical inspired notebook because summer is just not over for me, I don't want to let go so if you want to keep the summer vibes going here's how you can do it. Take any notebook and cover it in some nice tropical print wrapping paper, mine is from Oliver Bonus, you could also use some scrapbook paper or a printout if you wanted to print something from your computer. So go ahead and draw around your notebook, cut out your pieces and glue them on. For this project I'm using a glue stick because I've tried these things with PVA glue and Mod Podge and although I love them they do kind of wrinkle paper a little bit so I wanted to make sure that it was nice and flat. If you also use a glue stick just make sure to really get in those corners so they don't start peeling off and then go ahead and cut away the edges. To decorate the front, I decided to add this phrase using some gold letters that I picked up in the dollar store last time I was in the USA, and I just added the phrase, get it done. If you decide to make a phrase with stickers, just try and plan it out before you stick it down to make sure you have enough space, and for each word, start from the center of the word to make sure it is evenly spaced out. And just to be difficult, I decided to spray paint the spine gold, so to cover up the notebook I used a plain piece of paper and some washi tape and I folded that over and then I took the whole thing outside and gave it a light coat of gold spray paint. This is how it turned out and it's a nice memory of summer because those days are very quickly disappearing. Next up onto my favourite notebook which is this dry erase notebook and I thought this was really really fun to make and definitely very fun to play with. So for this project you will need a plain notebook any size and you'll also need a plastic sheet protector. I went ahead and added some more of those gold letters to mine but if you want more space to doodle I would recommend just leaving this one plain. To create your dry erase surface, take your sleeve protector and then cut the edge off and then you're just going to lay it flat on top of the notebook. To hold this in place, I used some gold washi tape down the spine and then I used some other gold washi tape to fix the edges by folding them over onto the back and taping them in place. 
and then that's it. You can go ahead and test it out. And this is just a great way to doodle and make notes, but I would recommend not making notes that are super important and then throwing it in your bag because they might completely rub off. But as you can see, this definitely works and it's a fun project to make because it doesn't take very long. Here's just a very quick and easy way to make a cute pattern on your notebook. And I created this star pattern, but you can go crazy and do whatever you'd like with this. So to start, you'll need a notebook, of course. You'll also need some washi tapes and I'm adding mine to a piece of plain printer paper in a few different lines of alternating colors. I'm using gold and black and white stripes, but you can go crazy with colors and patterns and do whatever you'd like. To cut shapes out of this paper, I'm using a little star cutter. I believe I picked this up in the Dollar Tree in the USA recently, but you can pick these up in any craft store. And if you don't want to go ahead and do this, you can just flip the piece of paper over and draw your shapes. Maybe you could use a stencil that you've cut out from the internet and go crazy, make whatever shapes you would like. I also cut the paper to make it easier to cut these out of and to create some different effects with different amounts of black and white and gold. Then go ahead and add them to the front of your notebook. They're quite thick, so they stick quite well with a glue stick, but I would recommend if you want them to be really firm, use some hot glue or some super glue. But they stayed on pretty well for me and I've actually been using this notebook. I think it's very cute and I haven't lost one yet. <laughs> This is the finished result. You could make so many different variations of this type of notebook. And finally, here is a very simple way to upcycle any notebook with some of those patches that you might have left over that you wanted to put on some denim shorts this summer and you never got around to it. Well, at least that's what happened to me. So take your notebook and your patches, go ahead and arrange them in an order that you would like. Take your time doing this because once they're stuck down, they're really difficult to get off. And then to adhere them to the notebook because you can't use an iron on these because it's paper you don't want to do that just use a hot glue gun or some super glue and glue them down in place once you're done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this, and then you can have another project that will remind you of summer even in the middle of winter. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sad to see back to school season leaving us behind, but don't worry. I am sure there will be some DIY stationery office desk decor coming up very soon. So just keep your eyes peeled and don't forget to subscribe because otherwise you won't be able to see those. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.